had a patient call me. She said, I got out of my bed and I can't breathe. I said, you're having a heart attack, come to the emergency room. While a man will call and say, doctor, there's an elephant in my chest, what is this? So the take home measure is women have a very different presentation than men. Shortness of breath is their main symptom, unexplained weakness, and if they do have pain, it's very atypical. The back, the arms, not the typical chest pain. Is it sharp pain though? If that, that it pain could be pain. sharp, could be pressure, could be heaviness, but the most frequent symptoms is I can't breathe, is shortness of breath. The women deserve a more detailed exam. Not just the treadmill exercise, but they need image study, either a nuclear or an ultrasound, uh, accompanied with a stress test. The main difference would be you no longer have your ovaries to protect you. So if you come after menopause, understand that you reach the same level as a man. Understand that your symptoms may be different. You're not experiencing the chest pain. You may be just feeling tired and shortness of breath. So other than that, the risk are the same. Elevated cholesterol, diabetes, hypertension, family history, uh, inactivity, obesity, and certain other pathologies that will be typical of women will be heart disease associated with pregnancy, which men don't have. Exercise, eating healthy, taking and monitoring the blood pressure, their cholesterol, and remembering that heart disease is the number one killer, so then we want to go to the doctor and specifically ask, am I at risk for a heart attack and should I be screened, just like you do with mammograms. So the treatment will include the basics. If you're a smoker, you need to stop. If your life is totally inactive, you need to get more active, change your lifestyle, what we call lifestyle changes, eating better, healthier, uh, and then habits, stop smoking. Then we get more specific. If your pressure is high, we're going to treat your blood pressure with diet, exercise, and medication. We're going to treat your cholesterol, same principle, diet, exercise, and cholesterol medicine, and we're going to treat your diabetes. Now, if you're diabetic, you're diabetic. It's genetic. But at least I'm going to treat your sugar, and I'm going to be monitoring you more aggressively than if you were not diabetic. And if you do those things, you usually do well.